Chief Immigration Officer Matt Dyson has just received some intelligence about a passenger expected from Miami. He's put Officer Lisa Lee on the case. The records show he has been issued two British passports in the last seven years in this identity. Yep. But okay. a Jamaican national submitting the same photographs, mm -hmm. in other words, would have been the same person, yep. was landed as a visitor in a different identity in 2001. All right, then. OK, I'll give yep. you this. Yep. It's background information. OK. The Miami flight has landed. An officer Lee takes up position ready to stop the Jamaican man with a suspected fake passport. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. How are you today? Good. It's the passenger she's been waiting for. Where do you live in the UK, sir? In Bristol. OK, sir. I just need to have a quick look at your passport, OK? okay. Oh, have you? OK. It won't take a minute. No All right. Oh, did you? Oh, dear. It's not your lucky travel, then, is it? Officer Lee plays it cool. She doesn't want the man to think this is anything more than a routine check. You've been there on holiday? I was in Trinidad first. Barbados. Trinidad first, Barbados. You've had a long journey then, haven't you? The you passenger's trip to London via Trinidad, Barbados and Miami has taken nearly three days. OK, so what I'd ask you to do, please, just for a moment, can you just take a seat down there for me, please? And we'll be back with you as soon as possible. All right. Where is he at the moment? He's just sat over there. OK, I don't want him unattended at any length of time. OK. Um, so if we're going to go straight down now, let's go straight down now. Yep. After that, I want him fingerprinted for the and I want him in the holding OK, no problem. I'll do it as soon as okay. we come back up. Thanks. Thanks. We're just going to go down and have a look through your bags then. No. All right. If he's obtained British passports fraudulently, it's actually quite serious. That's, that's a prosecution matter. We may just look to refuse and remove, because that might be the more sensible option. But again, we can't make a call on that until we, we find out what's going on. His route to London is one often used by drug traffickers. It makes Chief Dyson suspect there may be more to this case than just a fake passport. I'm also a bit concerned that he might be involved in other activities, and uh, a good check in customs would, uh, would give us a bit of a pointer on that one. A good check starts with his luggage. Uh, do you have the ticket? Because of the serious nature of this investigation, they've brought in a customs officer to conduct the search. Finally, the customs officer finds something. The passenger is carrying too much booze. You are one meter over your allowance, but because you've been delayed here, I suggest you're a good roll. OK, you'll come follow me back upstairs, sir. Nothing found in the bags. They've swabbed them, nothing. No evidence of carrying drugs or having had them in his bags recently. The passenger's bags may be clear, but there is still the matter of his passport. What we need to do is just check the background of your passport. What is the problem? The problem is we just need to check into the background of your passport, that's all, as I explained to you. Just general inquiries. All right, and just Again, Officer Lee is careful okay. not to so arouse his package. suspicion right. that this is anything well, more than routine. She goes to see her boss for an update. Okay. I've spoken to prosecution unit. Yeah. They want to prosecute okay. in this case, so we need to keep our input to a minute. To a minimum. A minimum. Um, they're going to want details recorded, file making up, yeah. and then they're going to get him arrested. Okay. So they're going to arrange for some uniforms to come over and take him away. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. All right. The man will be arrested for having a false passport. But Officer Lee doesn't want to tell him just yet. What's going to happen now is I need to take your fingerprints. OK? All right, the sooner we get it done, the quicker we can get on. Okay. Next, Officer Lee will take the investigation further. A medical check. OK, sir, can you follow me? Because we just need to get you looked at by our doctor. Because we're holding you up, we need to make sure you're fit and healthy. He's going to have to go to the Port Medical Inspector for an X-ray. Um, to check that he hasn't swallowed anything. Customs didn't have enough grounds to do an intimate search or an X-ray. Because we're detaining him, we have to make sure he's medically fit. So we do have the authority to take an X-ray. Great, thank you. Come with me, sir. PMI have just X-rayed him. There is something in his bowel. 
An X-ray taken at the airport reveals the man has suspicious packages in his stomach. The doctor is 99% sure that the objects in the passenger's lower intestine are foreign objects. So um, the officers from Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs are going to go and speak to him now. Mr Martin, would you come out, please? Now, the doctor feels that there are foreign objects in your body system. We have no alternative, I'm afraid, and I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled mm -hmm. drug. I must caution you that you do not have to say anything, but if you fail to mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Because this is not a unique occurrence here at Heathrow, Customs have installed a special drugs toilet that will collect the evidence. During the course of the day, after two sittings, 96 packets of cocaine were recovered. The man pleaded guilty to drug smuggling and travelling on a false passport. He was sentenced to six and a half years in prison, after which he will be deported back to Jamaica.